Some important news now to share from the Food and Drug Administration for people trying to eat healthier. The FDA wants us to cut down on the amount of sugar we consume, but CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says that may be a lot more difficult than you think. Doctor. Yeah, that's right, Maurice, and that's because sugar is everywhere in food, especially hidden in processed foods. Now, the FDA doesn't normally get involved in dietary guidelines, but it does regulate food labels, and that's why, for the first time, the agency is recommending a daily cap on sugar consumption. No doubt about it, Americans have a sweet tooth. On average, each of us consumes about 150 pounds of refined sugar a year. That amounts to more than a quarter million empty calories a year, with no nutritional value, but a big contributor to the national obesity crisis. Plus, some experts say sugar also has some very serious health consequences. It raises triglycerides and increases inflammatory markers. And what happens is this leads to heart disease and potentially even cancer. But if you ask most people how they consume sugar, you usually get the same answers. Probably two teaspoons daily. Where is that? In coffee. But a lot of those 150 pounds of sugar we consume each year are actually hiding in processed foods. You can find it in peanut butter. You can find it in condiments such as ketchup, tomato sauce, bread, crackers, and um, even yogurts. That's why the FDA wants to change food labels to distinguish between sugar that's added to foods and sugar that's naturally occurring, as in fruits. The idea is to get Americans to reach the new sugar guidelines of just 10% of our total daily caloric intake. That turns out to be no more than 12 and a half teaspoons of sugar a day in a 2,000 calorie diet, or about what's found in a 16 ounce can of soda. Bottom line is that it can be hard to know where sugar is hiding in your diet, so always... You still got to read those labels and just keep them sugar content low. Now, the food industry hasn't formally opposed the new labeling yet, and they point out that focusing on one component of the diet often has unintended consequences, as when low-fat and high-fiber foods were encouraged, sugar is what made many of those foods palatable. So uh, you take <laughs> away with one hand, good, with right? the other. By the way, liquid diet, liquid calories, mm -hmm. sweetened calories, those are really the ones that are, th that are the worst because you don't feel full with them and you're still getting a couple hundred calories in a can of soda, for example. But when you have regular fruits, you're fine. Well, yeah, it's got, it, right? there's, there's other nutrients in there. It's got fiber that slows down the absorption of the sugar, that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. Fruits a real surprise, okay. though, is those yogurts. You turn the label and whoo! Read the label because there's, there's a, a lot, lot of sugar, sugar that can those. stick in there. I exactly. am aware. Yep. Thank you, you Dr. Bet. Max. All right. Well